is up everybody so on today's video we're going to be doing the five things i love about my arch 4 and this time i'll remember to count to five <laughs> but yeah we're going to go over to the five things i love about this bike and that'll kind of do it for the uh, the five things i hate five things i love things and you guys can't get, can't be mad at me for doing the hate videos i feel like i do a whole bunch of love videos I, everything i do on this bikes i love And to start off, I think number one thing I like, love about this bike is the the price. I know I said that about the Hawk 250, but it's a China bike, so it's also really affordable compared to other bikes in this segment. I mean, not to mention the dealer fee. That's the big thing from CSC is the dealer fees are so low. If you've ever been shopping around to buy a bike out the door, then you realize how expensive, how much fees you go into your bike. And I think a lot of those fees from dealerships get hidden by like by the uh, monthly payment, you know, like a hundred dollar monthly payment. You're probably like, oh, that's not that bad, and you don't look into the fees. But when you try to buy the bike out the door, and you come back with a two thousand dollar more than the MSRP, it's like, what the hell happened? <laughs> well, I used to think when I was getting into motorcycles. I always liked the adventure bikes, but I never thought I could afford an adventure bike because they're always, you know, the price of a car. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some really cool bikes out there, and I love the GS platform, but I can't spend 20 grand on a bike. That's no way. <laughs> not, not happening. <laughs> I think the number two I think I love about this bike has got to be the power. <laughs> but I love the four, 450 power is amazing. It's got really good torque because it's a single cylinder. Actually, you know when you're when you're tied down or like weighed down with a whole bunch of luggage, it's kind of nice to have a little bit extra oomph. You know, <laughs> it's a little weird because the power that it makes is all up high, so it's kind of like a high revving single cylinder a little odd I've never really most single cylinders that I've ridden are like really low torque low end torque but I like it it's kind of fun you know it, it, it makes it a little different oh a tunnel oh, <laughs> oh I love tunnels number three so number three thing I love about this bike is the wind protection this thing has such good wind protection and um my, my windshield loosened up on that video we did um and that's why my that's why the little mount kept falling to the side because the, the little windshield just started loosened up but i tightened that up and now it's not even flopping around as much and then also like the fairings on the side to keep the wind away from you so when you're riding this bike just kind of cruising around the fatigue, wind fatigue is like absolutely nothing it's non-existent <laughs> And it's so comfy because of that. The wind protection is amazing. Then also in turn, on top of that, it's a counterbalanced engine. So it's so smooth and it's just, it's super, super comfy. I should say comfort, but I'm just gonna go with wind protection because that's kind of the highlight of it. Like I love how well this thing blocks you from any and all wind. It's, it's so good. <laughs> so the number four thing I love about this bike has definitely gotta be, is like, in terms of um, parts replacements, like it's so cheap to replace things on this thing, but it, and I was wrong, it's not $20 replacement for the bars, it's $50. Eh. But still, I bet you that's cheaper than a lot of bikes. I might just upgrade to the Pro Tapered bars. I found an adventure set that I like that has this almost the same exact rise as this. Um, so we might, we might swap it out for that. But yeah, the replacement parts are pretty cheap. It's not, you know, you're not breaking the bank when you're trying to service this bike or maintain it or or just replace things that you break and especially on a big adventure bike when you're taking it off-road on motocross stuff uh, you're gonna drop this bike a lot <laughs> man I did not know what I got myself into 
I should have known when I'm going to go on a camping trip with a motocross rider. We're probably going to hit some motocross trails. But I, it made it. It made it through it. It just took a couple tumbles. That's all. <laughs> What the heck is going on here? Holy crap, what the fuck is that? Oh, they're like filling up the retention ponds. Is that how you do that? I thought it was like a tube that you fill it up with. Huh. What is, what is that? It's so weird. That's a nice Lamborghini too. train of thought there's just these twisties number five thing I love about this bike it's definitely got to be the versatility of it the thing dude like I can take it off-road beat on it I can pack it up take it on long trips I could go rip around the twisties like this it's such a versatile bike like these adventure bikes are so amazing like there's just so much fun there's so much you can do with them I love them I love every single dual sport Especially the ad adventure segment, so. <laughs> oh man, this is such a good road. I love these roads, dude. All good things must come to an end. Ah, oh, man, the CSC is feeling so good. It's got new oil, it's been freshly cleaned up. It's a happy bike right now. It's a happy, happy bike. Well, that is going to do it for today, guys. I hope, really hope you guys liked that video. And if you did, show me by smashing that like button. But as always, it'd be really dope if you subscribed. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.